situation is uh, really difficult and uh, the state of human rights is worsening all the times since uh, occupation and uh, Russia's annexation. Um, so we now we define the uh, serious uh, violations of freedom of speech, freedom of uh, assembly, freedom of association, the right for fair trial and uh, especially the situation with different minorities uh, uh, which are discriminated. Uh, it's uh, Ukrainian and Crimean Tatar minority mainly. So uh, this is why our, our mission, so we understand that it's very important to monitor the situation and to disseminate this information to the international community. So uh, this will help to, as I told, to unite uh, the forces. Uh, it's uh, really dangerous to work uh, in Crimea as a human rights defender and to provide monitoring of the situation. Uh, and it's uh, dangerous because uh, we know the uh, court cases against uh, different activists and also they can be punished and fined uh, and uh, uh, they can be detained. Uh, it uh, can happen to also to journalists uh, and uh, we fix such a situation. But uh, the most dangerous cases, of course, are enforced disappearances of people and uh, tortures and uh, it happened uh, during the... Uh, March of uh, last year, and we fixed uh, such a cases, and still we have uh, ten people that are not uh, found. So, uh, but uh, uh, having this risk, uh, we understand there is no uh, international organizations, no human rights missions working on a permanent base in Crimea, and uh, who can do it? Uh, but but we so so we we do our work. Uh, understanding the risk.